hi everyone welcome to my channel god bless you have you been oh good you are blessed and lifted if voice is far from you hallelujah god is with you in jesus name if you are new here this is a great channel subscribe touch the bell and stay with us we have prophecy word of knowledge prayers here even the bible in audio on the playlist join us praise god yes you do this and your enemies will be far from you you do this your enemies you will not even see them Praise God. Look at the book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 7. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven ways. Hallelujah. When your enemies come to you in one direction, they will flee before you in seven ways. But before he said that, what did he say? In verse 1, it says, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. Then I will not say in verse 7 that the Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction but flee before you in seven. Hallelujah. There's something you have to do first. He said, if you fully, Deuteronomy 28, write, write it down, go and read it. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28, verse 7, but read verse 1 first, because it's a condition there. If you fully obey the Lord, your God, and carefully follow all his commands, I give you today. The Lord, your God, will set you high above all the nations on earth. And verse 7, that way he said that the Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. Hallelujah. They will come at your at you from one direction and flee from you in seven direction. Praise God. If you want your enemies to flee from you, very far from you, praise God. You have to obey God's commands. When will you see God's commands in the Bible, in his word, his word, obey everything he says. Hallelujah. Obey God. You read, read the Bible. Give your life to Christ first. That's the number one thing you have to do. If you're not yet born again, you're not a Christian yet, that's the number one thing. And I'm going to lead to prayer after If you're not born again, say this prayer after me. Before I do, I want to understand that Jesus, Jesus Christ came to this earth and died for you and me and for the whole world. That if you believe in him, you'll be saved. After you get saved, you start to obey his commands, which is found in the Holy Bible. And your, that when your enemies, it will cause them to be defeated. Hallelujah. If they come to you through one way, they will flee before you in seven ways. So now I'm going to leave it to Christ now. If you're not born again before, you're going to say this prayer of salvation after me. As you say it with all your heart, mean it, and you'll be born again. And your enemies begin to run away from you. They will flee. Say after me, say, Lord Jesus, today I accept you into my heart as my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. I believe you died for me. You were buried. On the third day, you rose again from the dead. Lord Jesus, I am now yours. Father God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. I believe in him. He's now my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. If that prayer was said by you, I thank God for you. You are now born again. Start going to a church where God's word is being taught. And stay on this channel for more of God's word. So I will know God more and obey his commands. So your enemies will flee before you. When they come for you one way, they will flee uh, in seven ways. And there are many blessings that will follow you, which I will take in other videos. God bless you. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.